now in this video we will arrange our schematic and we will annotate it but if you go to the official schematic then you can see this schematic is not properly organized and this schematic is not properly annotated so it is difficult to find the components and it is also difficult to find the circuit flow but we will annotate and we will rearrange all the components so that if you design your schematic and other people can also easily read your schematic so first of all we will rearrange all the components like the component and rearrange it i will place all the power circuit to the left hand side and our microcontroller to the right hand side now move this move this power led circuit move this power selector circuit and now move this low dropout 3.3 volt voltage regulator now we will annotate our circuit first we will annotate our main microcontroller now place text just type the main controller here change the font size i'll use the times new roman and text size should be 22 click okay I will also change the color. I will go for this dark red. Click OK and I will place the name here. Now in the same way, I'll place the annotation here. Place text. This is our USB bridge. change the color to dark red and place it here similarly we will place all the names here and we will rename it after This is our ICSP. Just double click it. ICSP. Change the name. This is USB B type B. USB connector. So I'll type the USB con. This is our power connector. Just type power here. This is 5 volt voltage regulator. This is our 3.3 volt regulator. This is our power selector circuit. And this is power LED. this is also icsp now we can see our schematic is annotated and we will rearrange all the text now we can also place a differential pair symbol here just go to the place select this clips draw clips here and the same way draw clips here too end mode and this is our differential pair place text change the font style to 18 color to dark red click ok and place it here you can also make it smaller 
now we are done with our schematic in the next step we will find the components from digikey and we will assign the footprints